Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker and the Docker file. We will uh, create our first uh, Docker file and the image out of it. So let's starting to, to do it. To, we want to create the, the folder hello world and then go inside the hello world and I'll use add someone say Docker file and then we have creating the docker file should be inside here but it doesn't yeah here we go uh, something yes and then we have a docker file we save it and then we need a little more before that we need to say npm and in it we need to make an application here to say that everything here is fine and inside that we need to say npm install express and then we need to save it and then we can say uh, dia to confirm we have the docker file we have node models and we have the package json and, and now we want to create uh, the server.js file we want to express and we have it here safe and we need something here to make it and then I'm too fast here sorry we want to express and then we need the, the port number should be 3000 and here we want to make a get command and the get command should be uh, pressed and this we have it inside here and we want to send something back here to say hello world and then um, listened on the port and then we need to do something inside here and then we save it if I run this to say node server it should run and if we're going for the browser and want to go for the local host port 3000 and then we have the hello world here so the, the console is basically working so let's let's close them down again and going back for the browser and confirm it doesn't work anymore that's perfect so let's go back for the docker file and we are ready to to type down what we need first what we want we want the from node the last version and then we want to copy everything we have into the var and the vv and then we want to define the work deal with the, with the folder here and then we want to say npm install so we have all installed all the uh, application packages inside and then we want to say expose on port 3000 and we want to say entry point an entry point is a, a list of uh, command where every argument is uh, in the array so first we want to use the node and then we need to say server right now this should be enough but before we uh, we run this Docker file. We will run. The, we will create a, a a Docker ignore file. And we do this because else it will copy the node uh, models, and it will uh, copy inside the packet uh, log file. And we don't want those two files. 
and basically I want to stop copying this here when it says safe we can go in down to say docker build and then we want to build it like a tag and I use pin key with uh, 101 so that's building the this one something is wrong here docker builds so let's see what's happening here yes we forgot to say uh, which folder we want to build in and you can say dot that's meaning it's taking from the root directory and then it's going up and download node down and yeah it will build the image for us so when this is done it's meaning we have built the image where we can uh, run from as you can see every single line we have is a step inside the docker file and everything here is running perfect so let's see docker images and you can now see we have the PNK web tag with the 1.0. So what we want now is the running the, the image and what we do here is say docker run, uh, run it and when we are finished you need to remove it because then we don't want the container anymore. And then you can go here for the P and say 3000, that's the numbers and what should be the container name let's say web app and we need, need the images called the pnk web with the tag 1.0 so let's see about starting correct and everything is running well going back and run yes now it's running smooth so the last thing is let's uh, close it down and see about it's going to remove from the container what I have done here is I have closing my terminal and then I have uh, been ready to see about we have the docker images so I said docker uh, images we still have it perfect and then we need the container we have it running here so let's say docker container stop web app and it should be stopped now But something is wrong here. No, it stopped here. And I see nobody running. So that that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope really you want to enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please make them in the comments fields below. And I'll try to answer them as fast as possible for me. And of course, if you like it, please make a like and share it with your friends. And remember to add it to your play playlist so you can find it later. And one more time, I really enjoy to show what I can and I really hope you want to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.